there's a huge heritage which uh, uh, we inherit in 47 and the beginning of that heritage really was in the early part of the uh, 19th century. In 1821, Raja Ram Mohan Roy published his first Bengali newspaper, Sambad Comedy, which talked about social reforms. Print was the first form of media, but the audio format followed in early 20th century when war necessitated audio contact over long distance. It was done on short waves. This then came into common usage as man gaped at this speaking box when it came into being after the First World War in Pittsburgh, USA. On the eve of independence, 1947, All India Radio had only six stations located at Delhi, Bombay, Calcutta, Madras, Lucknow and Tiruchirappalli, Tamil Nadu and four stations in the princely states of Mysore, Travancore, Hyderabad and Aurangabad. Curiously, freedom of the press is not mentioned in the constitution. But the Supreme Court, right from 1950, has held that the freedom of the press is implicit in the guarantee of free speech. In 1959, when Phillips gave an offer to the government of India for a transmitter at a reduced rate, the government approved with the aim of employing it on an experimental basis to train personnel and to discover how television in India could be used as a medium to inform and educate its people in community development and formal education. Entertainment and education programs were introduced from August 1965. In addition to social education programs, the sole reason for the introduction of television in India. I think we are uh, very well protected. Uh, it is well guaranteed. On ev every major occasion, the courts have ruled in favor of freedom of the press. In 1976, All India Radio was separated from television. Television now became an independent unit in the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting under the new banner, Tudarshan. As the television industry grew, it got its necessary boost in the 80s when Doordarshan introduced color television during the 1982 Asian Games. A statutory autonomous body, Prasar Bharti, was established under the Prasar Bharti Act. The board came into existence from November 23, 1997. The internet boom in the late 1990s brought information, news and entertainment to the office, home and public cyber cafes. People began to wonder what would happen to the old-fashioned newspaper with a cup of tea in the morning. But what do we know? It is still a beloved of the Indians in all languages. We are a free media and a free country.